Hello, thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Paul Capo, and today we're going to be going over the confined space window lift of a downed firefighter. Now this drill is often called the Denver drill, and our prop here does mimic the instance that happened on September 28, 1992 in Denver, Colorado. See, firefighter Mark Langbart perished on the second floor in a commercial structure in a 28-inch narrow aisleway with a 42-inch high sill. And that is what we have here. But I do want to make it clear that his tragedy occurred on the second floor. And in season four of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes, Chief Jim Crawford goes over a way to get Firefighter Langvart out of that building and down in between a ladder and a building. Today we're focusing on just a confined space window lift. We're doing this with two firefighters and one down firefighter. So now Eric will take place and Drew will also be at the window and they're going to do this confined space lift. When they do this lift, they're all going to be in a linear fashion, which means that there's not enough room for the rescuers to surround the downed firefighter and lift them out by another means. They have to be in a thin line. So the first thing they're going to do is they're gonna sit the downed firefighter up. Then they're going to slide the down firefighter to the window. Ready? Yeah, lift. One more time. Ready? Lift. Good. Now this lift of the down firefighter is going to be done in two segments. They're not going to go from the ground and out the window. They're going to go from the ground to the base of the firefighter that's back is against the wall. And this is going to be done now. It's important to see the position of the down firefighter, that he's sitting upright in like a 90 degree angle and not slouched in a lounge position because then it makes it hard for the firefighter to get driven up. If he's lounging, he kind of gets, he hits the sill. So all of these different parts are important. Now, Eric will get deep underneath his hamstrings and he's going to essentially squat this firefighter up to, to outside the window where Donald's going to be. Ready, lift. Now we're going to perform the confined space window lift. Now our firefighter is already packaged before he got into this position. Now we're gonna have Drew with his back against the window and Eric come in by his feet. The first step is we have to sit our downed firefighter up to a seated position. Then we're going to move the down firefighter back close to the window. Ready. Lift. Ready. Lift. Once he is in the position close to the window, this step is going to be this lift is going to be performed in a two-step process, which means the firefighter is not going to go from the ground out the window. The down firefighter is going to go from the ground to the base of this firefighter whose back is against the wall. So that's what we're going to accomplish now. Ready, lift. So once we lifted this firefighter up onto the base of Drew, it's important to see how he is sitting. See how he's sitting 90 degrees upright? That makes this next step real successful as opposed to him lounging down or laying down on this base. With him sitting in a 90 degree position, now we're going to get the firefighter here at the feet, really deep underneath his hamstrings. Eric is now going to squat and we're going to lift the down firefighter up and out of this window in a linear fashion. Ready, lift. Now that we walked our way through this lift, now let's take a look at it in real time. Ready. 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 
Ready? Good. Lift. We just watched a confined space window lift of the down firefighter from the first floor. I'd like to thank St. Petersburg College Fire Training Center and thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.